Hey guys, today I have a cage review today of the Incipio Dermashock. It's the black one. Um, before I start, people complain and rant all the time about dust on silicone cases. You cannot complain until you have seen this case, okay? Now, I'm not calling this the worst case ever. It's just, this is the most easily scratched silicone case and easily dusted silicone case ever. Okay, now... I'm not going to have an unboxing on this one. I don't really like unboxings unless I got it through the mail. Um, well, even if I got it through the mail, I don't really like them. I know I've done them before. I mean, a hypocrite on this, but, you know, I don't like unboxings a lot. Um, I'm not going to do them as much. I might do another one sometime, but, um, you know, I've already thrown away the box on this, so, yeah, I have. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Um, it, but just to fill you in, it came with a screen cover that I didn't use because I don't really like screen covers either. Um, and it comes with a little, it came with a little cloth. Um, maybe throughout the video, it's over in this drawer next to me. So throughout the video, I might look for this where it said cloth. Um, if I don't find it though, don't kill me. Ah, here it is. It came with this Incipio cloth that I still use. It's not a bad cloth. It is some sort of microfiber, but it does a good job of cleaning the screen. It's made to use before you put on the screen protector, but it is a good little cloth. So, yeah. Anyways, but that's not the reason you order the case. This is, and it also came with a plug. It comes in down here. It's in that drawer, too, but I'm not going to spend 20 minutes looking for it. Because this is tiny little thing that plugs in there that plugs up this port. I don't like it because... A, I may have already lost it. It's in the drawer, but I don't feel like looking for it. And, um, and B, it is kind of in the way because I charge my iPod a lot. Because, I don't know if you can see, but that thing runs out pretty fast. I've only been using that for a little bit. It's already down to 77%, so I'm plugging this thing in a lot. So, I don't use that. So, basically, this case, is main function is as a thick, protective silicone case that fits on your iPod well. Which it serves a good purpose as. It does well with protecting your iPod. Making your iPod any prettier? Uh, not really. Um, it has a couple of cool design features. So let me put my iPod in this case. Just to show you. It slides in just like any other cell phone case. Um, let's see here. I believe it's one of the cheaper ones. It's $17.99 on Incipio's website. Now, it feels good. Uh, see, there's hairs on it, everything. Okay, it feels like a good case. It gives you a good feeling of your iPod, a good grip. It feels very rubber-like, um, not soft-like. It's a really good feel. Buttons are easily pressed. They extrude a little bit. It feels just like your iPod is caseless. Not, I wouldn't say that, but it's got a good grip to it. It feels good. And, um... Okay, now to the lint and scratches. I'm not looking forward to doing this, okay? I have not been using this case for very long, and lint, lint, lint. You cannot get rid of it. It's everywhere. Scratches, scratches, scratches. Um, like, if I move my finger across it, it gets oily and stuff. So, it's not pretty. I, I can, I don't know, I don't really want to scratch it, so... Um, I think there are already some scratches on here. Like, this camera doesn't do a terrific job of showing all the scratches. If I hold it up to the light here, you can kind of see the scratches and things that it has been through. So, that does not look good. That does not look good at all. So, if you don't look at the back, um, and you come to the front, not easily linted except on the bottom. Um, another reason I don't use that plug, it gets really linty, it doesn't look so good. I don't know if, I think it's just jamming lint, and into my little port there more than really protecting it from getting anything in it, so I'm going to leave, I'm going to, you know, get rid of that. It has this little flap here, which I kind of like, I guess, it doesn't leave it as open, but, you know, not a big deal. Um, it's got this, that looks good, this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, an indention for the home button. Not really necessary, but it looks good. That's clever. And it leaves all this open so you can still get your um, uh, light sensor to work. And yeah, one cool thing about this case is people complain about little flap noises. This one fits on so tight that that's not really an issue. Like, you simply do not hear those noises. It's on tight. So that does not move. That's not moving easily. It does, but it's not flimsy like other ones. Like if I pull it back, it doesn't flap like 
Listen. It's more of a dark flap. Like, it, they're heavier edges, thicker edges. So that's nice. This is a, it, it keeps it slim, slim silicone case. Um, case, when I first opened it, put it on, looked terrific. Um, used it for a couple of days, didn't look so good. So, um, case is okay. Uh, it, it's an okay case. It looks good. It feels good. It works well. It'll protect your iPod from scratches and, um, light knocks. Um, I would not recommend it, though, if you're OCD or you're, like, a freak about your iPod being clean all the time. I am, but I don't look at the back because when I put on this case. Um, so I would not say this case is as good as something similar to the Purporta Softfield silicone case. Um, I have my silicone Softfield case right over here. I had to jump up and get that for you. I should have gotten it before the video over here, but uh, I put the case inside this one. Don't mask. I was using it for something else, but yeah. Not as good as this, I wouldn't say. It's not white, so it doesn't get little lint and stuff on it. It's a nice black. I think they sell it in white, too, but... I look at the backs of these side by side. don't know how well you can see that, but this one, just lint-wise, is way better. Alright, so let me rub across this one and let you hear it. Okay, hear that? Now listen to this one. This one sounds like sandpaper and this one sounds like lavender. Or, la what do you call it? Lavender, that's not it. Uh, the, this, what's it called? The, the, um, maybe it is lavender, but that's the plant too. I don't know, it's the soft, silky... Silk. Silk. Yeah. This one sounds like silk. This one sounds like sandpaper. So, backs of the case wise, this one probably feels better. This one looks better. Uh, in my opinion, maybe works a little bit better. Um, one pro over this one, over other ones though, is that extrusion over here. This, those are extremely easy to access and easy to press. And again, the thick edges, unlike some of these, it has thick edges. Um, in the end, I think this is a better case. So, no down strip point of there. Those are awesome cases. But this is an okay case. Um, but, you know, Incipio did well at making it. It went to its design factor, so thanks Incipio for that. And, uh, sorry for no unboxing. Just wanted to give you a review. And, oh, you heard that earlier? I can't get to make it again. But, now uh, I'll play it. At the end of the video, just to show you, it made this horrible squealing noise. Um, I'll play it over and over so you can get a good listen to it. Anyways, not a bad case. Good case. You probably should buy it, if you don't mind, a bunch of lint on the back. Super lint magnet. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Great comment and subscribe, guys. I'm kind of tired, so I need to get in bed. Um, I'll be making some more videos throughout the week, hopefully, of the Griffin Eye Clear. I made that video a while ago, never got it uploaded. Sorry about that. Just more work to upload than it really is to make. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Rate, comment, uh, subscribe.